Hello grade 9 science class. Welcome back to another lecture. This one is lesson 2. Mutations is the title. Uh, we have the key points up above me again. Mutation is one, the same as the title. Mutagen, a little bit different. We'll get into it. Positive and negative mutations. And then the three different types. Uh, I hope that the last lesson worked well for you. You're able to do the uh, your job section easily. If you have questions about that, please let me know. Uh, let's jump right into today's lesson though. You should have your booklet with your notes. Let's do it. So um, we can change cells genetic information. It is possible. A mutation is a change in that gene makeup. Uh, it doesn't necessarily change your hair color uh, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, type of mutation but it can cause problems in the areas where there are mutations and there are there are some specific areas in our body that are more prone to mutations than others and those would be the areas that get um, cancer more often than others we will talk about cancer more in detail I believe in lecture 6 something like that but uh, right now We'll focus on mutations at a, just a particular cellular level. Uh, when these mutations occur, can have very drastic impacts uh, on what the outcome is, but mutations are the change in the makeup of a gene. Uh, a mutagen is the substance or the factor that causes that mutation. So when there is a change, what caused it? That's a mutagen. That is key points one and two. A mutation is a change. A mutagen is the cause of that change. Could be a substance or factor, something that caused it. Uh, there can be human-made mutations. Uh, these are mutagens that are human-made. Cigarettes, cleaning products cause uh, mutations. Industrial weights, nuclear radiation. Uh, they can upset the life cycle of a cell and it makes protein production uh, incorrect and can cause cancer. Some natural mutations or mutagens would be solar radiation, radioactive gases that just occur all around us, uh, x-rays as long as it's not x-rays from a machine but x-rays from the sun and from outer space. Uh, there are lots of different natural things that can cause mutations. So they'll essentially cause changes. Now, is a change always good? Uh, or bad, not necessarily, they vary, uh, we will talk about it. Um, when DNA becomes damaged, the proteins in the cell will not be made correctly. So that at a cellul cellular level is what a mutation is, the DNA becoming damaged. So uh, I write this as a big thing, mutations occur when DNA is damaged uh, by a mutagen. You can add that in there. Uh, so, for example, if a cell re uh, receives too much UV radiation, for example, if you burn your back too often or your tan too much, uh, it can cause damage to the DNA of the cells in your skin, uh, and then it makes your skin not be able to reproduce properly. That is how you get skin cancer. Another example of a mutation that is very, very serious um, is in the 1970s, some women were given thalidomide, which is a drug that was for morning sickness. Uh, what it actually also did was it affected the DNA replication of the fetus. It caused a mutation in a fetus. Now you're giving this drug to pregnant women who have morning sickness, and then it deforms their fetuses. Um, children were born with physical deformities. Um, often with no hands or no legs or, or smaller limbs, maybe only two fingers. Um, there were lots of different complications. Uh, so mutations, when they occur, is very, very important. So this occurred in the fetus, which caused deformities, whereas a mutation in uh, your skin cells might not always cause cancer. Uh, it's, it's not as big a deal. It can be a big deal, but not as big a deal. So what I'd like you to do when you see a screen like this with YouTube videos, I'd like you to pause and check them out. Uh, they are also linked in your booklet, so you can type them in, or if you have the electronic copy, you can click on them. Um, but what I'd like you to do is check them out and come back 
and we'll talk about them. The first one is about thalidomide, which I kind of just discussed. Uh, and the second one is about cystic fibrosis, which is a, another mutation. So when you're done, come on back and we'll move along. So, um, I gotta go back for a second. Cystic fibrosis, sorry about that. Cystic fibrosis is a mutation, uh, as you know now, that uh, affects the lungs and the digestive system. It uh, stops certain enzymes and mucuses from being produced and then makes it hard to breathe. Uh, this is all by one small and kind of common mutation uh, that occurs in fetuses uh, before you're even born, so it's nobody's fault. Uh, the thalidomide incident is a whole lot tougher to swallow as there were doctors that prescribed uh, the medication that did this. Uh, recently, uh, in cystic fibrosis research, there has been crazy advancements that allow people to live quite a bit longer, which is um, really quite great. Um, so, positive mutations, let's get into some positivity here. Positive mutations is a mutation that is helpful to a person. It might not turn you into the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but um, it might help you. There is a gene mutation that makes people immune to contracting the AIDS virus. Uh, that is very, very helpful. The gene carries instructions that makes a protein that prevents infections from the AIDS virus. It doesn't allow it into the cells and therefore you cannot get HIV and AIDS. Uh, your immune system is protected in some way. Alternatively, plants, bacteria, viruses can undergo positive mutations to become stronger. Uh, you've probably heard of like if you take too many antibiotics, um, they might not work anymore. Well, that be is because the bacteria um, that you're taking the antibiotics for has mutated positively for that bacteria and became stronger and resistant to the antibiotics. It is not good for you, but it is good for the bacteria. Weeds can definitely do this. Viruses can undergo positive mutations to become stronger, which is why there's multiple um, flu and cold viruses that float around all season long, uh, as well as the coronavirus. It may be possible to mutate, who knows? Um, we don't know enough about it yet. But positive mutations make things stronger. Negative mutations, this is all key point three by the way, um, are not helpful to the person. They essentially reduce the chance for survival. Sickle cell anemia, I believe you have a picture Yes, of a sickle cell and a normal blood cell beside each other on the bottom right of this page. Uh, sickle cell anemia makes your blood cells look like curved sickles and they cannot carry oxygen as well. Does not allow your blood cells to carry oxygen. Um, cystic fibrosis is another example of negative mutations, things that hurt the person. Uh, there are also types of mutations. Now, I definitely like you to pause here and write these down. I'm going to explain them here, but it might not make sense until I talk about it with an example. So an addition mutation is when you have an extra piece of information added to the sequence. Uh, so in your DNA, you have an extra piece. Remember I told you uh, DNA was made of four pieces and it was um, the arrangement of these pieces that really matters. Well, if we add an extra piece in, that is a mutation. If we delete a piece, that's also a mutation. If we substitute a piece uh, for another one, that is also a mutation and they have very different consequences. Uh, let's talk about it. This chart is given in your notes. If you go a little bit down, uh, it is in the uh, what you should do or the your job section. So you can reference it there. Uh, you can imagine DNA is laid out in a sequence with no spaces. So all the letters are compact together. The original sentence without spaces is like the sequence of bases in a gene. Uh, we always read DNA in sections of three. So we have all three letter words. We can break this up. The man ran for the bus and did not get his dog. The sentence doesn't really make that much sense. We'll deal with it. That is how uh, the normal uh, DNA should be. Um, when we have a substitution, uh, when one letter is, letter is substituted for another, so now I am here, one letter is substituted for another, the H uh, is replaced by an E, we can still get the gist of what the sentence says. T-man ran for the bus and did not get his dog. Oh, that's just a typo. That's the. The overall message hasn't really changed. 
if we see an example here where we remove an E from the completely, it shifts everything over and makes this completely illegible, except for USA. And I can maybe see dog at the end. But I, I don't know, this kind of looks like together and it, like, it just doesn't work. Uh, whenever you have an addition or a, a deletion, it makes the words shifted over and you cannot read it really at all. So these are often extremely serious mutations. Whereas a substitution mutation is just like a typo and usually the body or we can figure it out. Uh, it's not uh, completely crazy for us to think of it that way. Uh, what I'd like you to do is for your job, identify the different types of mutations in the sections given and answer the questions. Uh, it shouldn't take you too, too long. And then you can get on to lesson three. I know you're eager. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me or I'll see you at school. Uh, and just so you know, we will have a quiz coming up in a couple of lessons, I believe after lesson three. Uh, so you can write those when you're in. Um, thanks very much for watching everyone. I really appreciate it and uh, all the hard work you're doing and I'll see you soon.